Hey, and welcome back to my second channel. It's in the Little Woods. We are opening the final quarter of our booster box of Pokemon Fates Collide XY right now. Let's get into it. Thank you very much for watching the last three episodes. Again, so sorry about the massive gap between episodes two and three. I still have like two vlogs worth of footage as well from when I went to Comic Con, where I saw a load of you guys, even over at the Magic Madhouse booth. So thank you for coming to say hi and asking for my advice on Pokemon cards, even though I'm still relatively fresh back into the game. And then again, over at Insomnia, in Ireland. There was a booth over there which had Pokemon cards. I was over there chatting to some of you guys. It was really, really cool, so thank you very much for that. It's nice to geek out with people with similar interests, which is why going to conventions is always such like a, a happy and fun experience. But anyway, let's get started with today's cards. We've got a Jigglypuff. We've got a Snivy. We've got a Deerling. All of these are just dupes from the previous episode so far. Anything new for me? An Ultra Ball? It's not new, but it's cool. We've got a Servine. We've got an old Amber Aerodactyl. That's cool. We've got a Reverse Diglett. And a Lugia. <laughs> Lugia is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. We got Moltres at the end of the last episode, and I thought that was a good place to get to, but good God. Let's have a little look at the artwork. So good. And then uh, his ability is called Pressure. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, any damage done by attacks to your opponent's active Pokemon is reduced by 20 before applying weakness and resistance. And then Intensify and Burn, which is 60 plus. Uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 60 more damage. Wow. I always like to get rid of the dupes. So what we got? That's a dupe. He's a dupe. She's a dupe. Where are dupes? Hey, eh? I'm a dupe. Right, there we go. One of each to end out the episode. So let's jump into these. Have we got a dupe within a dupe? We do. We got a dupey dupe. Oh, it's another snubble. What a surprise. All right, here's your QR code, everybody. Get rid. Move those out the side. We're going to move three from the back in front of those two. And here we go. Snubble. We've got a binnacle. Ah, people told me that a binnacle is a rock with two heads. So thank you for that. I guess it makes sense with the name by in it. Um, we got a Meowth. We've got a Jigglypuff. We've got Riolu. We've got a random receiver. Oh, God, Sycamore's in there as well. Uh, reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a supporter card. Put it into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. I don't see many people using that one, but okay. Uh, we've got an Ordino Spirit Link. We've got a Wigglytuff. I think I already have you, actually. I remember that artwork. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm going to spoil the very last card. I got a Mew. I love Mew again. Mew is one of my favorites. Like, I don't just like legendary Pokemon, by the way. I want to put that out there. I like Mew. I like Lugia. Um, I really love Articuno. I know those are all legendaries, but then things like Vulpix and all those kinds I really enjoy as well, but... Oh, this is so cute. Um, it's called Memories of Dawn, its ability. It says, this Pokemon can use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in play. That's awesome. Uh, encounter. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Wow. And they can't get any better than that in this pack, can it? No, just the moth him. That is a good pull. So here is your QR code. There goes your QR code. Hopefully the camera doesn't try to focus on it when we're trying to look at our card. So we've got a coughing. We've got a cottony. We've got a Larvitar. We've got a Vullaby. We've got a Fennekin. We've got an Altaria Spirit Link. We've got the Bent Spoon again, one of my favourite pulls in this set so far. We've got Zygarde. Hello, friend. It's not a surprise to find you. Another Wormadam. So, yeah, there are very different types of Wormadam based on the, uh, the pre-evolution. And then we also have Amanda Buzz. That's the Vullaby evolution, and I think that is probably my first one of you. What's your ability like? You've got Bone Drop. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. <laughs> nice. And it only costs one colourless as well. And then we We've also got 80 damage for Cutting Wind. All right, next pack is the Alakazam pack. We have got Gothita, Fennekin, we've got Seal, we've got Burmy, we've got Larvitar, we've got a Kangaskhan, we've got Cincino. Oh, I, no, spoilers, spoilers. Forget the handiwork. What are you? <gasps> Lugia Break. I will take it. Flash of Destruction, 150 damage. Discard two energy attached to this Pokemon. My God. That is an awesome pull. That is one of the best pulls that we've had in this entire set. And, of course, out the back, we've got a Snorlax as well. Oh, man, you're going straight into the binder. Oh, no, no, careful with it. Careful. I'm always kind of glad that I waited a couple of weeks to open these, just simply because we've had such good pulls that I thought the excitement for the training card game would have worn off by now, but this has got me all hyped again. So we're starting off with Bronzer. We've got Deerlink and Carbink 
and Fennekin and Seal and Lassus Special. What's that? Draw a card for each of your opponent's benched basic Pokemon. Hmm. Interesting. We got an Omanai. I actually caught an Omanai in uh, Pokemon Go. It's a very obscure Pokemon to find. And I didn't even find it by water. It was just chilling in the middle of the road. Uh, we got the Devolution Spray like we saw before. A Reverse Helix Fossil Omanai. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got another... That's a Hollow Mew. <gasps> so now we've got Reverse and Hollow Mew. Look at that. I honestly wasn't expecting to get another one of those today. Something's telling me that those that those Mews aren't as rare as I like to think they are, but I don't know, man. Something about Mew has never lost its charm in terms of rarity for me. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. There's another QR code for you all. Good luck to you, those of you trying to grab it. There's always people disappointed in the comments section. There's just literally nothing I can say or do to console you. It's just really is a timely process. So we got Riolu and Snubble. We got Binnacle and Bronzer. We got Burmy and Fairy Garden, we've got Whimsicott, we've got Brakeson, I like Brakeson, we've got a Reverse Grumpig, I love that because it's just playing a gig with the Loud Reds in the background, and then finally we've got an Exploud, oh wait, is there one more? No, that's it, it's just an Exploud at the end. It's got Ambush for 80, flip a coin, if this lands on heads, then the attack does 40 more damage, and Cacophony. At the end of your opponent's next turn, discard the defending Pokemon and all cards attached to it. Wow. All right, we're down to the final three packs. I'm going to go for another Delphox. I want to end on Lugia, I think. The Alakazam packs have been decent, but I think the Lugia one is going to be stronger. So, here we go then. Here's your QR code. It's buggered off. It's run away. It's 10 years old. It can do what it wants now, Mum. You can't tell him what to do. It's weird that you live with Mr. Mime. Where's Dad? Where's Dad? But anyway, after that episode, uh, a Mincino. <laughs> We've got a Wisma. We've got Gothita. We've got Riolu. We've got a Cottony. Oh my god, all the spoilers. We got a Dugong! Yay! I don't think I have one of those yet. We got a Puppetar. We got a Wormadam. We've got a Reverse Dwoy... Do... 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. No clue. Butchered it. And an Omastar. Wow! Look at that. It's in like... It's very like Ghibli Nino Kuni style, isn't it, that forest? That looks so cool. It's got Restoring Beam. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may search your deck for a restored Pokemon and put it onto your bench. What does it mean by a restored Pokemon? Does that mean a Pokemon that you've brought back from the graveyard to the deck? And then spinning the attack for 60 as well. Yeah, let me know what that means by a restored Pokemon. Maybe like certain Pokemon are labeled as restored. Um, I got no idea. And then finally we have the... It's time for our final Alakazam booster pack of the day. Let's get rid. It's actually the final one of the whole box. So there you go. Three forward, two back, and we start with Jigglypuff. I swear Jigglypuff is at the start of most of these boosters. We got Carbink, Larvitar, we got a Diglett, Spoink, we got a Brakeson. We've got another double colorless energy. We haven't seen many of those, but it's nice we're getting a couple towards the end. We've got a Wormadam, a Reverse Wisma, and then finally, there he is, the son of a gun sleeping with my mum. It's, uh, it's Mr. Mime. <laughs> He's got Mimic. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a number of cards equal to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. That's good, because if you're on the if you're on the lower hand, like count wise, that would level the playing field significantly. And then we've got juggling twenty times. Flip four coins. The attack does twenty damage times the number of heads. Awesome. And here it is, the final booster pack from the Fates Collide booster box. One more time, I just want to say thank you very much to the guys over at the Pokemon Company, the EU guys, for sending me the booster box for free. So let's get into it. We've got Cottony, we've got Mincino, we've got a Wisma, we've got a Meowth. We got a Binnacle. We got a Wormadam. Come on, give me a good finale. We got Scorched Earth, a stadium card. Once during each player's turn, that player may pl uh, discard a fire or ground energy card from his or her hand. If that player does uh, so, he or she draws two cards. Interesting. Okay. We got the Dwoyson, however you say that one. Uh, we got a Reverse Lucario. Nice, I'll take it. And the final card is a Hollow Lucario. Wow! That's got like proper anime styling and it's got the Mega Alakazam in the background as well. 
That is an awesome card. Vacuum Wave 50. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. And then fighting alone, 30 plus. If you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this attack does 60 damage more for each Pokemon fewer you have in play. Today has, like, these last two episodes have been really, really, really good pulls. So, in the comment section below, let me know if you're collecting Fates Collide. If so, what has been your best pull so far? Um, if you missed any of the previous videos, click on the link on the screen right now. It'll appear on the eye in the corner um, and that'll take you into the playlist for all of my unboxing videos thank you so much for watching everybody have a wonderful day hopefully see you in pokemon go and kick your butt at a gym and i'll see you all next time bye bye